So someone wanted to know about diplopia after a glaucoma implant device, and we'll just use the bar belt as an example. And so when you have this device and with a shunt tube, it's on top of the eye and it's going into the anterior chamber to drain the fluid. It has to be put on top of the eye and therefore it can cause diplopia. And that can end up in neurop clinic. The diplopia is mechanical, not neurogenic. It's just restricted. And that means it's usually an up gaze problem. And it's often worse in abduction just because of the nature of the placement of the device. And this mechanical diplopia can mimic cranial nerve palsy, it can look neurogenic, especially if there's ptosis of lid. It can occur in maybe up to 25% of the cases, so you should be aware of it. And probably less people notice it because we really don't look up very much. So when you're looking up, normally you just look up with your head. And so it's going to be less noticeable than things in down gaze. And so it probably is more prevalent than we realize. And often patients have field defects, so maybe they don't, they don't really look up or notice it in up gaze. However, the people that do notice it usually notice it right away because it's a mechanical thing. Uh, we can do the normal things, patch, exercises with orthoptics, prism, and some people need to have surgery. Some people have to have release of any adhesions or scar tissue, and some people might have to have the device removed. So you should know that binocular diplopia can occur after mechanical placement of a glaucoma shunt device and it's often elevation deficit, worse in abduction and elevation, and it might be as high as 25% of the cases.